Myers starting the game on the wing. Goodway coming in for Hanley. And it's good to see on the bench Gildart back after a long layoff. Gildart, Wigan substitute. Told them two have had the problems. They've had to wait for Desfoy recovering from a stomach complaint. The centre Anderson is off and Duane is off. So we have Tommy Martin coming in at centre. There's been a change in the front row. John Fieldhouse going to number eight and Atkinson coming in uh, at number ten. And the substitutes are Paul Lord and Austin Donegan, who's usually at number eight, will be on the bench for Oldham this afternoon. Wigan, of course, in blue and white, clashing with the red and white of the home side, Oldham. So it will be Oldham from left to right to set the game going on this terrible day. Conditions are awful. Extremely cold, very wet, all against good handling football as Platt, brother, playing for Wigan. And away we go into the Wigan 25. Dennis Betts, first touch of the ball, bringing it up to the 25 line. Dermot behind the play, the ball makes a bit of a mess of it. Dermot claiming that it went off his feet and he's paying the price for opening his mouth and so right in the very first second it is a penalty to Oldham a repeat of the semi-final of a week last Saturday and this is quite a kickable penalty for Duncan Platt So, left footed with only a couple of seconds gone, he hits, lifts it high, and he's pulled it wide, well that's a let off for Wigan, I knew they should know better than give foolish penalties away by talking, disputing the referee's decision, he's never going to change his mind, so it will be a drop out from the 25, an awkward ball. Taken by Round, Round going charging into the Wigan defence. Irving, Richard Irving waiting for the play of the ball. Having a run on his own, going cross field, followed by Franel Botica. Ruane, the hooker, coming up. up. Misses out John Fieldhouse, gives it on to Atkinson. Atkinson being easily held by the Wigan forwards. Ruane once again, coming down the narrow side, onto Fieldhouse. Fieldhouse been taken by Bell, there was doubt about Bell playing. He had arm trouble. Ruane across to Ford. Ford won such a good game in the semi-final. Out to big Charlie McAllister. Ball's gone loose. Knocked back by Wigan. Wigan glad to get their hands on the ball. This is good charging run by Wigan. Dermot coming over again to dummy half. Doing a switch. This is out Gregory. Ball tight in the forwards in these early stages. Holding round very quickly. It was a good move there by Foy. On to Gregory. Gregory on to kick. A lot of brute force going on at the moment as Ford does a run around. Both sides finding it very difficult to get out of there. Oldham standing still, have lost ground. We're going to run the ball, they've taken it off him. Comes out to Gregory, Gregory holding it. Short pass, Wigan going for the line. Platt still going. And he's smothered, ten yards out. And to Gregory. Gregory moving a long ball, Wigan moving it across. The referee saying the Wigan players cross and he's giving the obstruction, so it's a penalty to Oldham. Wigan finding it very hard to get the game together. All these matches 
played in such a short time, probably taking the toll of the stamina, perhaps a little bit of the edge gone off. That's Platt, bangs that into touch. On to Irving, Irving going cross field, buried under the Wigan forward. Dermot coming in with Lucas. Ruwain running cross field. Not announced again as Clark comes up to act in half back. Clark jumping his way from script from acting half back. Trying to force his way through and his pass has been intercepted by Bell. Bell running a long way back and across the field. Don't miss to go through eventually as he straightens up. Would have been decision at times in the olden play. And a penalty for offside. Referee wanting the teams well back. And this is another straight kick. Botica asking to take the penalty for goal. A little further out than the last one he missed. A yard further out, but still a straight kick. The sand is brought on. Exactly halfway through this first half. 20 minutes gone. No score. Botica can put the first points on the board. 20 minutes gone. Botica stabs at it, lifts it high. There's a great roll from behind the post, and it's over. Wigan eventually going into a lead of two points to nil. Flat, left footed. Feel the crunch of the bodies from up here as they come in hard, and they are coming in very hard. Good way, taking it up to the 25. Hanging on for dear life. Possession so precious. Yeah, but a short one. All of them coming in, defending well. At Dermot going on his own, gets three or four yards. Edwards now from behind the play of the ball to Gregory. Gregory dummies, then he gets his kick in. Platt having to retreat to take it. Must be so nervous after the mistakes he made, and he's well tackled ten yards out. And a bit of a nightmare semi final, and Wigan in quickly, pinning Holden back inside the. Oldham 25. <laughs> Referee very keen on the offside at the play of the ball today. Both sides having to watch it. He's been. Same for both teams as the Wigan forwards come tearing in. And that's five tackles gone. Oldham having had trouble getting up to the 25, moving the ball well on the wing, turning with a big gap here as they brought the ball away, and then it's last tattle, and here's a great break by his Clark going through, gets the pass, logged out to the wing, Oldham turning and put a kick inside. And the ball dropped on and over the line, but the referee's going for bringing him back. Well, Oldham came beautifully out of the road, 25 then. Flip Wigan right down the middle and there was good backing up. Little kick through was put in and the referee decided that they were in front and he was yards in front of the kicker. And the moment that he put the kick in and the Oldham got over the line, it's a let off as Wigan have been awarded a penalty for offside. After that beautiful break by Oldham, the push back to 10 yards inside the Wigan half. Platt, very powerful when he gets over the halfway line. Dermot on to Gregory, Gregory changing direction on to Edwards, Edwards deciding he's got to go and take them on as a solid wall of defenders. 
McDermott to Gregory. Gregory showing them the ball, bringing Bell down the middle. His legs are taken from under him, and that's the fifth tackle. As Dermott gets it out to Gregory. Gregory hoists a high one, not a very deep one. Players are under it, it's bouncing up in the air. Been knocked down. We can have it. Moving it out. And to Dermott. Referee says it's back to one. Edwards onto Lucas. Lucas trying to crack his way through. And Dermot comes over. That's Platt on his right. And it's Platt who takes it. And Gale, oh, he's powering his way through. A tremendous third by Platt. Wigan piling the pressure on now as Gregory does a run around with Edwards. A long ball. Can Wigan keep it going? It goes out to Iro. Iro going for the line. And he has to. Let's the ball go, the ball's loose, we can dive on it. Referee's right on the spot. Top shot, and there's a substitution being made. And Oldham got a penalty out of it. Referee says it's come back with the Oldham regain possession. Clark with a wild pass there. Gets the ball going. Wigan comes from over the man, keeping it going. And eventually arms are wrapped round him. A lot of effort coming from Oldham. And Wigan reading it now. House puts his head down, charges his way forward, dies with it in the fifth tackle. We get intercepted. Had to stretch for that one, did well to hang on to it. Betts comes over, back to one. And we're going to attack down the right wing. Wigan never really got very cohesive in this half. The stabbing going on at the play of the ball. To Gregory, Gregory holding it on to Forshaw. Forshaw going back into the middle, gets up to the halfway line. Wigan going down the narrow side, still powerful running by Platt. And out to Gregory. Gregory trying to dummy his way through, and the ball's been lost and intercepted by Oldham. Oldham have an overlap here. Iro coming over. Takes Foy on to Irving. Irving running cross field, being chased by Bottica. Bottica takes him from behind. On to Fieldhouse. Fieldhouse going back inside, lets the ball go. Oldham trying to keep this ball alive. Almost up to the Wigan 25. Still on the feet, the long lob ball comes out. Ball still on the floor, and they're keeping it moving, but they've lost a lot of ground. Referee says five tackles have gone. Little grubber kick there. Hampson can't take it. Go over the Wigan line, and Wigan make it dead in the in goal area. Well, that was a dangerous little kick. Thirty-one minutes gone, Wigan to drop out from underneath the post. Oldham had a lot of possession and been using it well. Oldham piling it on now inside the Wigan 25. And they're refusing to die with this ball. Still keeping it going, this is good play by Oldham. 
causing Wigan all sorts of problems. He moved the ball across and there's a big overlap if they can get it moving, it goes out to the left wing. And they're in touch. Well, Oldham moved the ball well across the field there. Wigan backpedalling, managed to force them into touch. Wigan, the underdogs at the moment. Oldham giving them a bit of a run around. And Gregory feeds the scrum, back wheeling all over the place. If we can bring it away, good clearing run by Goodway, bringing the ball away from the base of the scrum. Now it's Iroh's turn, little dummy in through, he gets it out. We can kind of keep it moving, and it's thrown forward. For sure. Unable to get his pass in as Wigan came away well. Iro, Goodway and Iro coming away well from the scrum. Forshaw backing up. Wigan with a big overlap, couldn't keep the ball moving. And so, probably be Oldham's possession again. And it is Oldham, it's lobbed out to Clark. Clark going crossfield, bringing his centre to play. Russell doing well. Oldham seems to be hanging on to this ball more than Wigan. Have more possession in time. More tattles out of it. Long pass stretching Wigan. And Oldham still passing. Wigan not putting the men down. They're letting them get the ball away. Oldham now a long one out to Ivan. He should be another corner. And he's in. Oldham take the lead. They've hammered away at Wigan. And eventually, long pass out to Irvin on the wing. Makes it now. Wigan 2, Oldham 4. Five minutes to go to the end of this first half. It's Oldham 4, Wigan 2. And Oldham playing quite confidently and quite cockily. Tried to kick his way through the tattles there, didn't come off. For sure, doing his stint of tackling. Hold them look as if they're getting ready for the kick. Will they move it? And that strong running by these Oldham forwards. Edwards comes back in for the second time. There's the kick, out towards the wing, sits up for Myers. Sidesteps it away from the touchline and he's still going and eventually he's down. The referee, Wigan Wigan the penalty for interfering with the man and he's down on the floor, tattled. Andy Gregory, captain for the day, deciding what will happen. And it's put into touch as short as the 25. Now, can Wigan pull something out in these last few minutes? They go charging forward. Ball lost. The trainer being called on. Referee must have seen some incident in the tattle. A touch is found halfway between the halfway line and the Oldham 25. And there goes the Hooter for half time, a hard fought first half. Just two points in it as they go in for half time with a score. Oldham four, Wigan two. Two points in it then as we start this second half, Wigan from left to right. And Oldham, we played the hearts out. Important game for both clubs. Atkinson being smothered. Play in the early minutes, just moving across the 25 line. Oldham forward, try to come through. Big 
Charlie McAllister battering his way forward before he's forced down. Lobbed kick there. Again, outside their own 25 as Hampson comes up, having a run from the play of the ball, gains his 10 yards of ground. Dermot on behind the play of the ball. And they hold them forward, very eager for work as they're coming into the defence. Gregory now trying to get his team moving. Wiggum charging forward from the play of the ball. Five tattles gone as they grovel away up to the halfway line. Bottica puts a little overhead kick here. Iro takes it. And he's given him offside, I think. Judged he was in front of Bottica when he took the kick. Andy Gregory querying it. Atkinson to kick for touch. Good kick, finds it 10 yards outside the Wigan 25. Ruane coming up onto John Fieldhouse. Fieldhouse runs into the Wigan defenders. Ruane to Ford. Ford handing it on to Donegan. Donegan coming inside. A little bit of agitation behind the play of the ball. Andy Gregory going in tattling. As Ruane on to Ford, Ford sends a long one across and Vex comes in and Crumbly gets it out onto Clark and Clark put down just inside the Wigan 25. All hold him at the moment as he plays and flick ball flicked back inside. Little kick through there and Wigan drop on it, glad to get it 10 yards out from their own nine. And a penalty to Wigan for Oldham being offside this time at the play of the ball. Referee wanting both sides well back. We can take the tap onto Platt, and Platt's been allowed to run a long way. He seemed a little bit reluctant to go and meet him. Dermot coming up. Onto Lucas. Lucas going sideways. He's met by Atkinson. Has to go down. Donegan coming in to help him. Again, fighting the way forward from acting half back and a good determined run. Now Dermot coming up onto Gregory. Gregory holding it and he's nearly through, can't get rid of the ball. One in a quick play. Botica now chasing it through from acting half back. Five tackles gone as Wigan powered away into the Oldham half. Wigan gonna get caught at the acting half back. Ball's flung back wide. Rubber kick here being chased as Platt comes across, takes it well, and to go low for it, and Oldham are down on their own 25. Myers coming in to complete bet Statter. Foy moving it inside, a kick. Way, way behind Hampson, going to roll into touch. And he lets it go in. The Wigan to feed. Hampson shepherded that over the touchline and making sure he didn't make any error. Myers coming away from the scrum, runs into trouble. This is hard grafting stuff by both teams. The rain the groans from the Wigan spectators. You can't see the Wigan machine getting moving at all. Wigan lacking a bit of inspiration today as Gregory decides in supply it. And he makes a good run. And I think the referee responded to the crowd there as he gave the knock on. Andy Gregory not able to hang on to it as he came through. Ford to feed. In it goes. Running it away. Not giving it to Clark. Moving it across the ball. Gomlin does an obstruction there, surely. 
The referee giving the obstruction. Wigan trying to follow that loose ball through. We're pulled back. Hampson. Hoist it high and safe into touch. 35 yards out. Wigan taking them on. inside into the forwards Gregory moving across the field Wigan coming through on the bird Bell gets his pass back to Botica Botica cutting two as he receives the ball Iro is so strong if he can get moving his long legs are taken from underneath him Kotika charging forward, trying to dance his way through, being held just short. Wigan, little grubber kick, close to the line, come back to Wigan. Wigan now piling the pressure on, and we're back to one, says the referee. Wigan being urged on by the fans. Slow play the ball, and once again, the relying on brute force. Dermott waiting behind the play of the ball, switching direction, decides he wants to score on his own. Once again, we can try to crash the way over, and they're over. Brute force took them over. And it's Betts, battered his way over from short range. Oldham's kicking let them down badly this afternoon, but Wigan have clawed the way back. Down a fingernail and Botica bangs it over, eight points to four to Wigan. And it is, it's Lucas who's gone off, and Ian Gildart, not played for the first team for a long time, having had a bad injury. Wigan got the job now, bringing it away from their own 25. Keeping it moving as Andy Platt can turn him forward. Ian Gildart wanted to get his hands on the ball. Gildart pushes one off and he's long-legged forward. Now Dermot charging forward. Dermot coming up to act in half-back. And this is hard in the forwards. Gregory. Little kick through there, following it up, Platt is there to take it, fall on it in his own 25. Not pretty stuff to watch this at the moment. A lot of effort and determination. Wigan holding Oldham at the moment. Five tattles come. As Clark comes over. On to four. Ford holding it, dumbing and Wigan by in the dummy. Fat Iroh goes inside, ball been flung inside, it's forward. And it was on the sixth tattle, so we have played the ball for Wigan. Dennis Betts to Dermot, Dermot up to Gildart. Now it looks like we've got Platt at first pass. And it's Platt who takes him, and Platt believing in strength and power, takes it up to the 25 line. Now we've got Gregory coming up to first pass. And it's Gregory who gets it. Gregory going on his own, he's made a lovely break on for the line. On to Botica. Botica has his ankle tape a yard short of the line. Well, the lovely break by Andy Gregory. Really set Wigan up and Botica was there to take it well. Feet just taken from under him. Wigan send a long one out onto the wing, having to force back inside, trying to batter the way over and hold them, hurl them back. And that's been intercepted from behind the play the ball. 
And the ball's been lost and Wigan got it back again. Wigan back to the pattern, ploughing the way forward. Here we get the charge forward again. An older meeting Wigan. Can run around. Wigan can't get it moving. Killed out, coming up from behind the play of the ball. Moves it across. The dummy. And the referee is sending someone off. Touch just outside their own 25. This is going to take a superhuman effort now for Wigan to stay in this game with the strength of Skerritt missing as Iro comes in and downs his man. Luane <laughs> trying and an hold him going back as Wigan move up and still keep the ball going. Just when it looked quite often today as, as if the moves were snuffed out. Oldham have kept the ball going as they are doing now. Dummy going inside. And it's been intercepted. Dennis Betts takes it very gratefully. Gildart making a good run. Andy Goodway looking a little bit out of breath. Black. Worked so hard. He's Wigan forward, giving it all they've got at the moment. 70% of the play this half has been in and around the 25. Gregory a short pass. Bottica dumps in his way, gets it out to Myers. Myers trying around his back, back inside to Bottica. Bottica showing him the ball. Charging forward, doing a lot of work in the centre of the field. Long one to Gregory. Gregory holding it. Gildart dropped it, the ball's loose, knocked on. Players' fingers must be absolutely frozen out there today. Bitterly cold day. Rain been driving down all through the game. As Ford comes over to feed. Oldham now fighting for survival. We've got to win two out of these last three games at the plane to stave off relegation. Potter could go in, there, but Oldham moving that ball about, not refusing to go down with it. We can try to lock them and keep them there in the 25 long wide pass comes out flicked out Hyrule sticks out his long arms wraps him up oh lovely break down the centre managed to get the pass in ball's gone loose and that's Wigan referee lets the advantage go Wigan go tear him forward Andy Gregory has done a tremendous amount of work today as captain. He's really set a good example this afternoon. Wigan now, an offside. <laughs> Penalty to Wigan. Will he bring Botic up to take the kick? It's a long kick, it's 35 yards out. We're getting near the end of the game. Weary legs on a very heavy ground. Botica decides he's going to kick for goal.
Erotica taking a lot of time, comes out, stabs at it, he's lifted it high, the crowd is shouting yes, and it's 10 4. Wigan with a six point lead now, they feel a lot happier with that. Six minutes of normal time to go, and Wigan territorially in this half have had it. Iro making absolutely safe. These forwards almost indistinguishable now as Andy Goodway. Docked on and Oldham has the ball. Referee says play on as Oldham start the attack, go and getting it out onto the wing. Irvin trying to come inside, gets up to the 25 line. Well, we're in desperation states now as we can come in and take the act in half back. Hearts must be fluttering out there as the tension mounts and Oldham giving it all they've got, fighting the way into the Wigan 25. Long pass coming out. And a low, good tackle as Platt comes up to act in half-back. Platt moving it inside, trying to stretch Wigan with long passing. 